Today we are going to explore the many nuanced ways to turn on your computer. While this can be very confusing, we hope to make this as simple and as easy as possible. So let's get started. Notice how carefully we press the button on this older iMac G3. You never know when a power button might pop off of these antiques. See the glowing light slightly flickering as the power comes on? Here we have a newer model, the MacBook. Don't be deceived by its likeness to the predecessor, the iBook. It enjoys natural cola, long walks on the beach, and gently pressing the power button in the upper right hand corner. Here we have the PowerBook G4. Notice that although it looks exactly like all other PowerBooks, it starts exactly the same way. Note that this elderly fellow takes quite a while to come up. Also, please don't be alarmed if your machine does not make any sound when it boots. However, if you have no audio and no video, you may need to take it in for repairs. Now for some variety, we have the eMac. The eMac was produced for the education environment where you don't want those little fingers twiddling with those precious little power bits. In the normal work environment, you'll need to fumble around past the jungle of cables to find that one. And finally, we have our office's token PC. Sometimes these machines can be a bit surly and require a bit more <laughs> encouragement. They can also take quite a while to come up, but when they do, they generally stay up until they crash. Thank you for joining us here at Dog Bark Labs. We hope that you enjoyed this informative video and that you'll join us again really soon. Remember, dogbark.com is your best friend for web hosting.